Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, we're going to be talking about fountain pens, fountain pen ink, my fountain pen collection because I officially have one now. <laughs> and this has really been a form of therapy for me. Journaling has really been an important part of my life. Right now, because my mom got diagnosed with DCIS breast cancer, she had her lumpectomy, and now we're going to begin the process of treatment. So journaling has been really key. And then my dad, you know, he's getting older and I'm really taking things day by day with him. And I really wanted to kind of share my love of journaling and I really wanted to get started on fountain pens. And I didn't know where to start. So I looked at Carrots and Olives. I was looking at Martin Made Co. And I'm going to link all these channels down in my description box. Amanda Lee Plans and Job's Journals and Abby Sai. These are the channels that I've been watching lately just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted in terms of fountain pens, what types of fountain pens there were. And I really just jump started into getting a fountain pen collection because I want to use fountain pens, hence why I got this collection. Now, the only thing I will say is that for ink, I am very boring. I only bought one ink because right now I'm just very into using black ink. I think when I get the hang of using inks or to see if this works for me, then I will buy more inks. But for right now, this is just me trying to test out fountain pens trying to use them okay so let's get started i did want to mention that i did watch lindsay scribbles talking about her fountain pen collection and in inks so she is another channel i watched i will link her below but this is the ink that she recommended it's the d atramentus ink and the reason being is because it is waterproof and fast drying and i'm very afraid that if i end up using a fountain pen that I may smear it all over my <laughs> journal. So I really love this. And this is the D. Artramentis Archive Ink. So I love that it's waterproof. I love that it dries quickly. That's what I love about it. This is the packaging. And I did order this from Goulet Pens. So let me see. Oh, I love the way this is packaged already because it is secure. Okay, and I decided to go with a big bottle because it's just easier for me to fill up based on what I watched and saw how they filled this up, but oh, this bottle is just beautiful. It's going to be part of my decor, my journaling decor station. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. She is pretty. She's a pretty ink and it's made in Germany. So I'm going to go ahead and put this box right here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show y'all, first of all. I'm gonna go ahead and take these little pistons out once I open these pens, but I have two pistons for Lamy. And then I have a kind of like black uh, Kawaiko pen holder. So I'm gonna take that out right now and I'm just gonna put this to the side. This is probably the first pen I am going to open up. This is a Kawaiko Perico or Perk. Kio PB fountain pen. So I hope I'm saying that right. I probably kind of like butchered that. I'm so sorry, but this is the first pen and I wanted to get black because I was like, it's just going to look so nice. And you know what? She is looking so nice. So let me see. Do I want to put it like right? I don't want to pull it too down because I don't want to cover the Kawaiko, but there we go. And then you literally just pull that apart, right? And then you open this up. And I, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos. So they have the little like ink right here, ink right here. I don't want to use that ink. And I don't want that little inky thing. So I'm just going to actually put these right here in view. And I purchased this little Monte Verde Piston Ink Converter. So I am hoping that this will actually go in and I have another Kaleiko pen and I'm just like fumbling opening this up. Okay, so I'm not sure where it stopped recording, but what I'm going to do is show you real quick again, just in case, but I did use one of these Lamy converters and all I did was literally take this 
You see that in there? Pop that in. And then all I did was make sure it's all the way in and there we go. Now this nib, oh, is gorgeous. And I ordered between fine and medium pen. So here's my second one. The third Lamy Safari is going to be my cream. And this I saw on Amanda's feed and I was like, it's so pretty, I want it. So I got it and again, I'm gonna pull out that ink because I don't want the blue ink. If you're a fan of blue ink, you know, no shade, but I just prefer black ink. And I will go ahead and put the, the ink converter in there. There we go. Again, simple, right? Look, just turn it. So I rather have it this way. And then when I'm ready to fill it up, I could just easily go like that. So once again, it's super easy, right? And then all I got to do is pop that on. This pen is just gorgeous. Like, look at this pen gorgeous you see this so that is my third one now let me show you the difference between kawaiko which is that nib right there and then we'll do a easy lamy okay so that is a difference i don't know if you can see it. i need to move further away so that's the front that's the back. These pens are gorgeous. And I don't know how hooked I am going to get on this, but definitely going to get hooked. Okay, then I also got this beautiful, and I just got this yesterday. This was like an Amazon order because I saw the color on, again, Amanda Lee's feed. And I was like, this is a beautiful little pocket pen. And I think it goes perfectly with my... Kawaiko rollerball, but this is definitely for a kind of like smaller little planner, like a passport. And finally, ooh, the Twisby. Let me tell you something. I, I watched Yoseka Stationery videos, Gulei Pen videos. Again, Amanda Lay Plans. I also saw Abby Size video. And then there were other videos. I believe Karen and Olive did talk about the Twisby pen as well. But this pen right here. I just like the simplicity of it. I know there's like rose gold and rose gold and black, but I just really wanted this one because I have a thing for just having a variation of colors, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This box is everything. First of all, this box, you know, is going to go in my journaling little drawer. So I'm going to put that here. And it's the Twisby Eco. Oh my goodness. Here goes the information. I love it. And oh, she is a beauty. Let's, let's, I'm gonna keep this box, y'all. She is a beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is just perfect. Like this is, oh, I'm gonna move this here. Let me move this out of the way too. Oh my goodness. She is, oh, why do I feel like I'm gonna end up loving this pen? And look at this, look. Turn to fill it up. And I'm gonna show you, oh my goodness, I am so excited. I don't even know which pen I'm going to ink because I, I wanna currently inked, right? It's probably gonna be two pens. Most likely two pens. I just, oh my goodness. This white one is calling my name. So I already have four. No, not four. Five fountain pens. <laughs> Planner doing the math. Planner doing the math. Okay, so the last thing I purchased is the Gallon Leather. Handmade, burnished edges, hand-stitched, pen case holder. Now, I do want to say, and I'm going to try to remember the prices for everything. This was, I think, $32.99. I think the Lamy was, I want to say, maybe $29.99 with the 
converter and then the Kawaiko I think was like 22 26 and this little one right here was about $22 on Amazon so these are all very affordable pens right what someone would pay for one pen I basically got in these five and I really wanted to test it out the the Atramentus archive ink was about $18 I believe for this you can find it on Amazon for $18 or $20, something about, somewhere around there. Not above 25 though. And then this was, I believe, 58 or 56. This is another beautiful box, oh my goodness. Oh, I am just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am so excited. See, this is what brings me like joy. Just, it makes me so happy. And I, I, I'm so, oh my gosh, it's, it's beautiful. And if you don't like like these rustic brown colors, okay, then you could definitely get a pencil case holder that is not this rustic brown color. But I just, oh my gosh, she is beautiful. I'm gonna keep the box. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She is gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Oh my so what i want to do and the way i want to set this up is like my small little pens on one side right so this fits up to 10 pens and if i was to put this in right my little pens here and my larger pens are going to go right in here okay and i love that this has a flap some people may not care for the flap, but I think it's important because if you have pens that are in the upper price range, it protects them from getting like scuffed. So I am definitely doing a color little, I'm gonna even take my little rollerball pen, right? Cause she is precious to me too. I love her. She is gonna go right here. Let's say I wanted to put her here. Okay. so. This is not a fountain pen, but it's a nice little, you know, rollerball pen from Kawaiko. These are all my fountain pen. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Let's move these inks out of the way because I'm definitely not keeping these. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Goulet Pens also gave me a thank you card. And this. And a sticker, which I will place in my journaling kit. So, oh my goodness. This is gorgeous okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to ink hmm which one do i want to ink oh my goodness i think i want to ink two of them or one of them see this is my dilemma so this is my angel shop fountain pen her pens are very different and unique to her and the nib is like extra fine, very extra fine. So this is also a fountain pen and I just love that it was black and just very, very pretty. So I have this here. So technically I have five fountain pens and there we go. I do have a converter for this. So I will put that in once I, you know, have that. But I'm going to go ahead and just ink my Twisby. That's what I'm going to do. I am also going to get paper towels. So I will be right back. And I'm going to show you how easily this closes. Hey, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I am back. I got paper towel. I'm going to open my pen. And I want you all to see. So I'm going to lay her here. She's just gorgeous. And we are going to fill this up. So I have another paper towel here. And this is my first time. Oh my goodness. Did I do this correctly? Oh boy. So let me try this again. I really have to get in there probably. Okay. Yep, I really had to get in there. And I am going to be very careful. I'm going to clean the excess off. And you know, some people will want to use this with gloves. 
I am obviously a first time inker, so this is real life and it is waterproof. So just think about that and I will be right back with this. So I have my standard TN and I decided I will definitely be taking this pen out. This pen was like a placeholder, but what I am going to do is use this, let's see, as a notes page. And I have it here. I kind of love this distress design. And first thing I am going to do is I'm going to test write it. So right now I'm going to see, and I have to turn like my pen this way. This is the D. Wow, this writes so nice. Antramentis. Okay. And this is the Archive Ink. Archive Ink. In black. I'm going to start it at 30 seconds. So when that timer goes off, and then I'm going to swatch that. It writes so smooth. I feel so fancy. Okay. And then I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to swatch it while what I wrote dries. Okay, a little swatch. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, so because my ink spilled a little bit on the desk, I had to clean that up first. So I'm just gonna put my finger over this. 30 seconds and that is dry. Oh, that's dry. And this is still like a little is it a little wet? It's dry. And then I could take a basic wipey, like I'm using the Everspring, you know, multi-surface. That's what I'm using to clean my hands. And I just have to be careful because I don't want anything going on it. Oh my goodness. That is pretty. I mean, my handwriting is not the prettiest handwriting right now. I think I was just so nervous holding the pen and everything. Oh my goodness. It is a beautiful ink. And the way to write, oh my goodness, is just so easy. You know, it's very, very easy to write with this. And I love that. It's just so pretty. And today is... November 10th, 2022. Yeah, I got this early in the morning. My package really did come in early and I was not expecting to film, but here we are. So this is the only ink I bought because like I said, I want to practice and get used to it. So yeah, this is my order and I want to see is there any type of ghosting? Not really. Ooh, let's do a highlighter test because I also heard that you could highlight over this. So let's go get that. I'm going to use a lighter highlighter. Whoa, see? Let's see. Little bit, right? A little bit. And let's try this one so when you write lightly it doesn't smear but this right here looks like it smeared a tad but i also had a lot of ink so i really have to kind of learn how to press and write i am not a fountain pen channel i am not a fountain pen review channel i am not a fountain pen expert so one thing i will say is that i'm going to learn how to use these fountain pens and i will write the best way i can that is comfortable for me and my grip and I know there's like this whole 
just theory on how we should hold the pens from people just knowing, right? We have experts that truly know about fountain pens, but I am not one of those experts. I just want to use a fountain pen in my journal and my planners, and I thought that I would try it. So, truly happy with this. It feels like my ballpoint pen, but better. The ink definitely feels way better. And I'm happy about that. I am just so like, I cannot wait. I'm going to write a journal spread using this ink. And I'm still trying to see if I should fill up another pen. So maybe I will do that, but I will probably do that off camera because as you can see here with the gallon leather pen holder, I can absolutely put my pen back. And she belongs here. Now this pen is a little thinner, the Angel Shop pen, but it is what it is. So that is it. Everyone, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I hope this inspired you to try to test out some fountain pens. For me, it was a pretty easy test. I was able to fill this up. And even if I wanted to like go with the pink one, right? If I wanted to see the pink one, I can go ahead and fill it up. It's probably not as difficult, but at the same time, you know, I don't know if I want to use this pink one yet. So it's, it's just dip it in the ink, right? Pull this all the way down, dip it in the ink and literally go up. That's what I showed you with the other one. I mean, I am not an expert, but it was fun just kind of dipping it in and seeing like if I did it correctly, because I can totally do something very wrong and that is okay uh this is definitely going to be something i think i'm going to keep up with i don't know if i'm going to keep this one in this rotation or what i may do is move it here but i kind of like it like this so i think what i'm going to do is keep my angel shop pen more for like decor because it's super pretty and I kind of like the fine nib and the medium nib. This is also very extra fine, so it's not really something I'm looking for, but yeah, that is everything, everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I will be journaling with my fountain pens using my ink. I am so happy and so in love. Bye-bye now.